good afternoon everyone and welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing well on this kind of warm day um, well it is in Scotland anyway, we've just been to the park, my hair is still wet, I had a chance to dry it yet from my run this morning. And I thought I would hop on, um, hop on? I thought I would record a video today about how I motivate myself to run or kind of get out of a running funk or yeah just generally how I motivate myself to run. I've probably shared parts of this before but it's just something that has kind of been coming up over the past couple of days when I have felt quite a lot of like resistance to getting out the door and a lot of procrastination so I'm just going to get on with it and share some ways in which I motivate myself. So the first one is that I'm also going to share with you my latest running goal which I'm very excited about. Probably about two weeks ago I saw through a friend that there was an ultra run that was going ahead for real in person um, nearby where I stay um, and it's a cross country it's 50k and I thought hmm, I'll try and sign up for that so I did but there was a waiting list because it's just a small run probably because of coronavirus and all of these things and um, so I put my name on the waiting list and actually two days ago I got a notification to say I had a place so yay I've signed up and I'm so excited it's in October so that will now replace the Lisbon marathon I was meant to do um I've never actually heard from them to tell me it was cancelled, but I have figured that from the website. So that was um, interesting, a little bit rude, but never mind. So anyway, I have moved on from that and um, every race I've done this year has been cancelled. So now I have this to look forward to. And basically it's 50 kilometres, it's cross country terrain, it's run early in the morning. Um, so that works out right, 31 miles. So yeah, first proper ultra. The greatest distance I've run in a race before was um, an endurance life one and that was about 27, 28 miles and that was cross country in February so fingers crossed this one is a little bit warmer I want to say because it's October but you never know in Scotland so one of my friends is doing it as well and that is super exciting so I guess that is the first way in which I motivate myself is to find a challenge or Typically I would have signed up for a run, but obviously there's a lot less of them going around, but there's so many virtual challenges you could sign up for, or just try and set yourself a new, I don't know, PB, maybe just a mile, trying to beat your mile record for speed or 5k or something like that. But a way of motivating myself for sure is to set myself a challenge. So that's number one. Number two, even when I do set myself a challenge, I still struggle to get out the door sometimes. So the past couple of days, I've just really felt like I didn't want to do my normal routes. And I felt like the thought of doing them was really like resistance. I just didn't feel good about running the normal routes. So I just ran completely opposite direction. I mean, parts of the run that I've done over the past couple of days, I have done before, but just not my usual route. So I've done that for the past two days and that's really helped me get out the door. Um, and I've really enjoyed it and just seeing different things or even just doing your usual route the opposite way around. I find that also changes things up a bit. The third thing, I'm on the third thing, is um, podcasts. If I know I've got something to listen to, that does motivate me to get out the door. It does make me feel like I've got something that I want to do. There's another reason why I want to run, not just for exercise. And the next thing is I guess wearing comfortable clothing or treating myself to some kind of new running thing. I don't tend to buy a lot of stuff but um, if I know for example that I need new trainers which I do I have a new pair of trainers arriving so I know that that will really motivate me and I, I'm not promoting going out and buying things to motivate yourself to run because that's not a good idea because don't buy things you don't need it's just not good for the environment at all. But I actually needed new trainers. So what I'm saying is if you, if I need something new and then that kind of adds a bit of excitement to my run because obviously um, trying them out will be fun and I have to um, build myself into them and get used to wearing them. So what else? Oh, also having like something exciting for breakfast afterwards. <laughs> knowing that I'm gonna have something really nice afterwards that is another thing that 
also encourages me to get out the door. So I think all of these things, oh, and the other thing is having my clothes laid out the night before. I do that all the time so that I know I put them on as soon as I get up. Um, my sports bra, my shorts, whatever I'm wearing, I put them on because then I, I feel like I'm going to go, if that makes sense. So I hope that was of interest. I'll be showing a lot more running content because I now have an ultra marathon to train for. I have a plan. So I had found a 16 week plan, but I only have nine weeks until the ultra marathon. So I've got that all up on my kitchen cabinet. I'll show you that in a second. So this is my plan for the ultra. It's called the Benahy Ultra. If you don't live in Scotland, look up Benahy. It's a hill. And um, I've just done the weeks down the side and then the miles. And I've kind of tried to put in two rest days a week. I'm also hoping to do some strength exercise because I need to do that um, to build up some more strength and some more stretching and yoga. So that is my plan. And um, that is it really. So I hope you're all having a great week. And if you enjoyed my videos, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you all soon.